It's going to get real noisy here, and I got wind noise too, so I'll probably have to dump this audio track or filter it and reduce it or something. Mind your ears. Okay, 12.5, battery sitting idle. Put the lights on. The battery's healthy. Well, with a decently charged battery, it's doing its job correctly. So, unless my battery goes bad or... <laughs> I guess I built something for nothing in this case. So it's a good example because I know other people are running without a battery get the 21 volts. And if you run with a bad battery, you get 21 volts. But yeah, my fix of the situation was to get a new battery. So I guess I'm just going to monitor voltage and probably not put that in until I need it, if ever. So the circuit works, and as I predicted with the circuit in line with the uh, battery, the uh, regulator now puts out 21, or you even saw it do 24 volts. Uh, something about it needs to have that direct load to the battery. If there's, uh, when I had the light bulb in the fuse socket for troubleshooting, I had the same problem. The voltage shot up. So it, it needs to see the battery directly. If it can't, it can't regulate. And I don't really understand that. It's not using a net. It's using the absolute voltage, but it isn't. I don't know. It needs the battery to be able to drain down or soak up a certain amount of current, I guess. I'd really like to see a circuit for this guy. Anyway, it all works the way it is. I did put a cap on the input, by the way. A smaller one, though. And, uh... The circuit can be called a capacitor. The uh, small cap in the circuit, the little 10, is actually multiplied by the beta of the transistor. It's called a c capacitor multiplier circuit. Um, that kind of regulator. Another another name for that circuit. So it does work. It gets too hot though. This uh, transistor was getting above 200 degrees when I shut it down. I had all the lights on, but it needs a bigger heat sink. That's why I use such a heavy-duty transistor. It needs every bit of that rating for uh, power. And the voltage doesn't hurt for uh, back EMF coming off of various devices in this unit here. Especially if, you, especially if you put a PTO of some sort on. And the circuit should be able to support a PTO. It built everything heavy. You can see by the gauge of the wire. But yeah, it needs more heatsink. Now that I got my voltmeter on the front pan on the gauge panel there, on the uh, instrument panel, I'm going to try without using this circuit, and um, if I'm still seeing too much voltage, like it goes up to 15 volts sometimes, kind of at random, you know, it's like a charging thing when you first turn it on, but it happens other times too, I don't really get it. So this unit is vastly overrated in terms of this uh, pass transistor, uh, because I knew it was going to have to run in a very high temperature environment. So let's say the environment that it's in is about 100 degrees. This can't run at 100 degrees and dissipate heat in a 100 degree environment. It's got to be considerably hotter to uh, get rid of its heat. And the way it turned out, this guy barely got warm, and all the heat went to the all the work went to this regulator. This regulator just like turned off. Started putting out up to 25 volts here. 
which also made my thermal budget budget bad because the drop between 21 to 13 7.2 which is what it's coming on you know multiply that by a 10 amp draw you can have 70 watts but now 100 you know 112 watts and that's kind of getting overboard because I have to pretty much cut my ratings in half on this transistor because I want it to run in a hundred and ten you know well roughly 210 degree environment I want this to be able to tolerate running at that temperature um, so I pretty much cut the uh, ratings in half so this circuit is pretty much as built in a redrawing of my uh, circuit I used a 4007 any 4000 series will work for that diode you could uh, use less exotic transistor. This is an audio transistor. It is easy to get though if you look it up. It's not that expensive. It's, uh, certainly you don't need the linearity of an audio transistor if you can find a... It's kind of hard to find trans transistors with the, that high of a rating though. 30 amp rating. Um, these caps should both be high temperature caps ideally. Mine aren't. This is more or less a prototype. But uh, you would want to find, usually they have a brown label on them, you have a higher temperature range. You would definitely want to use that. And this cap here could actually be made a lot bigger. I used a 470 at 50 volts. Um, but you could go, I would use at least a 50 volt rating. But you can go a lot higher on the capacitance and then re put this remotely. Don't put it in the circuit at all, put it somewhere else. You know, off by itself maybe. Yeah, one idea. This, uh, I was some fuzzy thinking I was engaging before trying to make this smaller and a little more current through here, but you don't really need to do that. 1K is fine. You could actually eliminate the, this resistor altogether if you uh, trust your regulator enough. So it's just contributing, if I make this too low, it's just going to contribute more heat to the heatsink because I got it on the same heatsink. And the only failure with this circuit, everything worked great. It worked even better at idle than I thought it would. I thought it wouldn't have any charging at idle, but this guy just pretty much checked out with this guy in the circuit, so I even had good charge at idle. I never had the big, you know, 14, 15 volt uh, charging voltages, though, which I don't want. I want to avoid the 15 volt, you know. It, the ideal thing, as I was discussing in the comments of the last video with another user, it would really be a great thing if I could go back to this full wave regulator, uh, full wave rectifier, get my high voltage in DC and uh, use a switch mode regulator but that's kind of a complicated project I, I may uh, I may play with that idea so I'm going to basically ground this whole project at this point I got the voltmeter installed in the tractor, I'm going to monitor how the uh, existing setup works after I do one more improvement to that setup to the existing setup in that tractor That'll be another video upcoming when I take the cowl off the engine again and clean it out and uh, try to fix the way the regulator is mounted physically in that unit. It's a real problem, which I'll get more into. I did address it in an earlier video, but we'll go over that again and my fix, hopefully, to it. So that's about it. This, uh, this one wanted to play with this circuit for their own uses. You know, you pretty much have to go with a strong transistor like that because it's going to run hot as all get out. I'd use a bigger heat sink, uh, but still it's going to run hot. So yeah, switch mode would be the ultimate way to go on this. I may start playing with that idea. So I'm going to let the status quo sit and stew for a little bit. I may be putting this back in the tractor, but we'll see. I'll probably have to put on a bigger heat sink if I do though.